Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. And if not, welcome back. Today, we are in part one of my clip art series, which is a three or four part series. It'll be in a playlist on my YouTube channel or on my blog, auntietay.com. All right, today I am showing you guys how I start clip art by drawing it and watercoloring it. Now, a lot of people think that they can't draw, but in reality, sometimes it's a little bit more simple than you think. So watch this video if you're interested in doing this. If you're interested in just turning other things into clip art and making sticker sheets, watch the next two videos, all right? So enjoy me watercoloring up my stickers. Alrighty guys, I am going to show you how I draw my clip art, which is something that I've just started getting into, but I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, so I'll take you through some of the pages of just where my mind has been going and what I've been doing. Um, I've been getting really creative with these and I have a lot of other things on my mind to do. Um, this is basically so therapeutic to me that I decided that I wanted to do an entire series on it. And so there will be four videos total on showing you how to turn these into stickers, um, just cause I've loved them that much. So today I'm gonna start with just a basic bow, just to give you guys kind of a, an idea of how I get my clip art to the point that it is before I digitize it. So I start with just a basic pencil and sketch out the shape. I would encourage you to start with something simple like a bow or a donut, um, something that's really easy just so you can start getting used to watercolor and all the different things that come with it. So I sketch it out and then I go in and I color it just like you would a coloring page. Um, and then I trace the outsides with just a little bit darker line because when you watercolor, the more watercolor um, pencil that you put down, the more that the water will pick it up later. So I'm doing little hearts, just one color. And this bow is just gonna be two different colors so that I can show you kind of how I do different things. Um, I'm having a hard time finding a really good pink. So I'm going to create a pink here by using this uh, magenta color watercolor pencil. These are just the Crayola watercolor pencils. I've found that they work just as good as all the high quality ones. Um, so it's a good place to start. So I'm gonna take some red and just outline some of the little sections that I want to be darker, um, just with some red and you'll see what the water does uh, to this when I go in with my watercolor pencil or pen. So I'm just gonna kind of softly go over it to get some of the red in there because it'll help create a really pretty pink when I get this water onto the clip art. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do one color at a time. So I'm gonna work on the purples. Um, these colors are very similar, so they won't make too big of a difference if I accidentally get the color onto the other color, but you really wanna work one color at a time and then clean your brush off. I'm using a brush that I got on Amazon. I will put the link in the description, but anything I ever use that I say I get on Amazon is in my Amazon store, which is just amazon.com slash shop slash shop slash anti day. Wow, that was really hard to say. All right, so I'm just gonna work in circles and you just really wanna play with this. You'll see how the water picks up some colors differently. If you want a um, all one color, you can just kind of work your way in circles across the entire thing. If you want it to be shaded, you can use more water or less water. Um, the best way to really learn all about this though is to just get in there and play with it. You'll also notice that if you go over this again with a watercolor pencil, it'll give you a completely different texture. So get in there and play with this and learn to manipulate the paint as you would um, any other thing, practice makes perfect. So now I'm just gonna use my Sharpie pen once it's completely dry and go in and outline kind of where I started with the pencils and that will just give it this kind of vibrant pop that I really love at the end. You don't have to do this if you like your watercolor to be a little bit softer. I just really love the look of adding the black outline and I love when the watercolor goes outside of the black outline just a little bit gives it that hand painted look that is um, that you can't get 
unless you do this literally by hand. So here's a fun little time lapse of me doing all the bows of all the princesses just so you can see that I'm coming out with a ton of cool clip art. So watch the rest of the series because I'm going to show you how to digitize these and turn them into stickers to use in your planner or just as stickers in general. Love you guys. Thank you.